Hi, this is a brief lesson on using parentheses in math, part of Everyday Math, 3rd grade, home link 7.4. And you've probably seen parentheses before um, when you're reading. And what parentheses are are these little curved lines around a word uh, to show you maybe extra information. But you can also use parentheses in math, and I'm going to show you how we do that. So here we have two number models which are exactly the same. But what I'm going to do is add parentheses in different places for these. So up here, <clears throat> we will add parentheses around 5 plus 3. And down here, we'll add parentheses around 3 times 4. And what that does is pretty simple. Whatever is in the parentheses is what you need to do first. So here, we need to do 5 plus 3 first. Here, 3 times 4, we need to do that first. So 5 plus 3 is going to give me 8, and then 8 times 4 is 32. Down here, 3 times 4 first would give me 12, and 5 plus 12 gives me 17. So even though you see we have the same numbers, the parentheses completely changes the number model uh, because the order is different. So we use those to help us uh, figure out which one to do first. So for Homelink 7.4, you've got to figure out where to put the parentheses to make this um, number model correct. Okay. So would I put it around 17 minus 10 or around 10 plus 3? Uh, let me just try something. So this would give me 13. 17 minus 13 equals 10. That will not work. Let me erase that. Okay, let's try again. Now my parentheses are here. 17 minus 10 is going to give us 7. 7 plus 3 equals 10. That is good. We're all set there. So there, the parentheses here are going to go here and here. Next one, let's see. Uh, let's try this first. What is 26 minus 7? Let me think about it for a minute. Should be 19. 19 times 2. I know 20 times 2 is 40. So take 2 away for 19, 38. Yeah, that sounds good. So that one is correct. I think this is not too complicated, so just figure the other ones out on your own. You can try it in your head, check it, erase it if there's a problem. Now the next thing you're going to do is make some of your own. So you can just kind of put down some uh, random numbers and then try out parentheses and try to figure out the answers. So let me put down some random numbers. And after you've done that, you can put down some parentheses and see if it works. So 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 minus 5 would give us 0, so that could be 1. Here I've done the same thing twice, but I'm going to try to put the parentheses in different places. So 7 times 4 would give us 28 minus 2. And then down here, let me try to do this one first. So 7 times 4 minus 2, this is 2. So it's 7 times 2 would give me 14. So for numbers 5 and 6, you just make up some of your own, and you can solve them too while you're at it. Now this last part is your best chance to be a thinker because you have to read this story and figure out what's going on and use what you just learned to explain it. So let's just read it together quickly and underline some important things. So Dahlia made eight party bags for her birthday party. Each bag contained four small gifts for her friends. When Denise said that she could come, Dahlia had to make one more bag with four gifts. How many small gifts did Dahlia need to fill her bags? Okay. Walter, I don't know who that is, but some guy named Walter made this and is apparently incorrect because it said this is a mistake. So let's figure out just on our own what's happening here. 
So eight party bags and four small gifts. Let's make a picture to see what's going on. So Dahlia made eight small bags. Here are her eight bags. And inside each bag, she put four gifts. So let's put four gifts in each bag. So those of you familiar with uh, multiplication number stories would know here we have eight bags and four things in each bag would be eight times four. Okay? Then what happened, this review, this girl Denise said she can now come. So she, Dahlia has got to make one more bag with four gifts. So there's the one more bag for Denise. So we have these eight with four gifts plus one more bag with four gifts. So we have here uh, eight times four and then we're adding four more. And which part came first? That's where you would draw the parentheses, right? This was first, so that's where we put the parentheses. And then I think you can solve that on your own. And then explain why Walter's number model is incorrect. What was his mistake? Okay, so that's Homelink 7.4. If you have questions, please post them. And that's all. Thank you.